going in and inhabiting those worlds was part of you know, what I enjoyed about the arts. I remember certainly as a kid when I used to sort of sketch a lot and draw, and I tend to do sort of like now, so I draw a picture, but there was, in my head I was telling a story, so it'd be like, oh, this guy's fighting, you know, because it was generally action stuff. And certainly when I started off, maybe it was, I don't know, like influenced by World War II comics or knights and castles and that sort of thing. The fantasy stuff came a little later. So it was very much like, oh, this guy's fighting that, you know, and you, as, as, as you drew, you didn't have the scene composed in your head before you started. You composed it, you went along, and the narrative unfolded on the page. Like, oh, this guy's doing that, and oh, then there's another guy here, and then there's this thing happening, that thing happening. So you were living in that world of your imagination, that sort of narrative. And I turned the page a bit, what's happened next? You know, I did a lot of that sort of stuff. It, was, it wasn't really a flick book, but it was, it was, you know, but it was a scene after scene. And then later, when I sort of read Lord of the Rings and then was introduced to Dungeons and Dragons, then that shifted it, so it was all about what was happening, what had happened in the game, or what might happen in the game, or what might happen to my character, or what was cool about them. And again, it was that narrative. But I do think part of it maybe is just being in that sort of headspace, and maybe it's a bit exclusionary or a bit, inclu I don't know, introverted in a way. So yeah, maybe that's part, maybe that was part of the appeal, maybe it was a bit of escapism.